I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shea with your daily tropical update that you can find on our web page and you can also find on our YouTube page right here. So let's get right to it. We are into the official 2023 hurricane season and things are pretty quiet locally, but there is a system that we're monitoring well out into the eastern Atlantic. But first, let's check out the Gulf of Mexico, of course. There's Houston and notice quite a few showers and storms, a lot of convection right around the Houston area and just swirling around us in general. Some out over the Gulf, some pushing into Louisiana, portions of the Mississippi coast, but this is not of a tropical nature. We've got a general circulation, a trough of low pressure helping to kick off some of these showers and storms, but nothing of a tropical nature that we are concerned about at this point. So that is good news. We'll continue to monitor the Gulf of Mexico closely, but we're not anticipating anything that would develop into a tropical storm or hurricane at this point. So let me expand the view and take you out into the Atlantic and far out in the eastern Atlantic. We do have one system here that we're monitoring. This is a tropical disturbance. It's actually a non tropical area of low pressure at this point, but it could potentially turn into a tropical cyclone out there over the next 24 to 48 hours. Only a 10% chance for development over the next two days and only a 10% shot for development over the next seven days. Right now it's kind of sandwiched between the Azores and the Canary Islands and you can see that we've got Spain here, so it is pretty far away from us. It's actually forecast to likely push off to the north and east over the next few days and that would take it into some cooler water so it would have a very low shot for development but there's a small window that it could become subtropical and develop some of those characteristics but it will stay far away from the U.S. so we're not concerned with that area of disturbed weather those showers and storms heading our way but if it did briefly strengthen into a tropical storm it would be named Brett but the chance for that at this point is very low. Of course, we're looking at the 2023 tropical cyclone names. We've got four new names on here compared to what we had when we used this same list six years ago. Of course, we had Harvey, Irma, Maria, and Nate that were retired from 2017 because they turned out to be monstrous tropical systems, produced a lot of damage and caused some deaths. So those names were retired. So the new names are Harold, Adalia, Margo, and Nigel. Hopefully we won't get that far down the list, but if we do, those would be the new names being used. So of course we are into the month of June and we're going to talk about some of the areas that we would typically monitor or watch a little bit more closely for potential tropical development and that would be the Gulf of Mexico. So that would be an area of concern and that puts us in danger because of course we have our systems heading to Houston from the Gulf of Mexico usually. So we will be monitoring for that risk, but right now nothing of imminent concern developing in the Gulf. Down into the Caribbean, we also like to monitor, especially the western portion of the Caribbean, close to the Yucatan Peninsula for possible development. We've had some clusters of showers and storms here, but nothing that appears to be developing into a potential tropical cyclone. We also like to monitor the west southwestern Atlantic area closer to the Bahamas. That is an area historically that has formed some tropical cyclones this time of the year around June. We certainly have the very warm waters that would support a tropical cyclone in the Gulf. We've got middle to upper 70s over into the Western Gulf, Northeastern Gulf, Southeastern Gulf, low 80s and into the Caribbean. We're talking about middle 80s. So some very warm waters, very warm sea surface temperatures out there that would help support development if we got some showers and storms going that could potentially form into an area of low pressure and maybe a tropical cyclone. So we will be monitoring things closely, but other than that one disturbance way out in the eastern Atlantic, we are not looking at anything of major concern to the U.S. of tropical variety at this point. But of course, we've got a long way to go. We are just in the first few days of hurricane season. Of course, hurricane season began on June 1st, and it will stick around all the way through the end of November. We've got a ways as well before we reach the peak of hurricane season, which is typically August and September, and of course the absolute peak right around September 10th. So that's usually when we have the highest risk of having quite a few 
tropical cyclones developing out there, but of course they can happen at any point during hurricane season. So we are closely tracking things, monitoring things, and if we see something developing, of course you will be the first to know. Make sure to download and grab our Fox 26 weather app from the App Store. Just go to the App Store and search for Fox 26. Of course, we've got your tropical weather update on there. You can get forecast cones. We've got our follow me feature, and also you can get hurricane watches and warnings. So a lot of tropical info on there. And of course, you can just look at the radar to see what's going on locally, whether we have some strong to severe storms or something else pushing in. So it's a great tool to have on your phone as you're out on the go. You can track that radar. You can turn the alerts on and get any watches, warnings, or advisories that may come out here or wherever you're traveling. That radar will update and follow you wherever you are. So once again, I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shea with your daily tropical update. Stay safe out there and have a great evening.